Okay, hello everyone. I want to uh, start a new series. I want to just kind of try to go through the whole process to deal with tile sets for Neverwinter Nights. So uh, I've learned a lot through doing these uh, while doing these videos. I've been doing a lot of learning. Started with GMAX, and now I'm in Blender. Um, long story short, uh, there's some things that I did wrong. Maybe when I did some of the recordings, that learn new techniques and ways to do stuff. So and I've got some people on my team for the Dark Sun uh, project that um, aren't used to dealing with Neverwinter Nights and tile sets. So looking to get some more people to help out with the tile set uh, portion of it and therefore these videos should be able to help them get started. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this here. I don't need any of that in there. And I'll go ahead and go to model space and then I'm going to uh, get screencast keys set up there okay and there we go okay and now I'm going to do shift A we'll bring up here so I'm going to do an empty right here planes axis now when I got this up, I'm going to go ahead and name what I want to name my tile. So I'm going to say, we're just going to use um, uh, Dark Suns or DS t um, Tile Set Desert Sands. We'll use that as an example, right? And then underscore, and then it's going to be um, ground. I'm going to be creating a ground tile. So I'll just do E for elevation. And then, so different elevations. So say my base elevation was just just my regular flat land would be zero 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 okay if I want to do say raised ground I could do say you know 100 or if I want to do a double raised ground I could do two or you know whatever and then I have a uh, hundred different tiles that I can put in there but we'll just say zero 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 is going to be my base tile and then I'm going to do underscore zero one so I can have more than one version of the tile. So this just tells me what tile set it belongs to. These ones here tells me it's elevation and then what set because I'm going to do mine as in a base ground zero 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 and then raised ground or say a hills or slopes I can put in it something else you know 100 or 200 but then say I just have a plain piece of square I can have up to we're doing zero one here, so I can have up to uh, ninety nine options for that. I won't need ninety nine, but just using that as an example. Okay, so we got that set up. So I got that selected. I'm going to go to this square here and go down to it says unknown under raw base properties. So I'm going to go ahead and select tile, and then once I select tile. I'll go down here to setup tile. Boom. Now what that does is now I have my base. Royal base is what I created uh, when I did the shift A and did the empty and then I set the tile that, that created that as my royal base which I have that named here which would be the name of the tile. It also created a mesh <coughs> which they have down as a walk mesh basically. Um, and then I'll go more into that in a, in a few. It also gave me my lights and uh, my other settings here for the tile set. Now, <clears throat> most tiles are basic standard tiles for Neverwinter Nights is on the zero right here where we're at, ground level zero. However, uh, I do like to run my tiles at either three or six, and lately I've been liking six more. So I'm just going to grab these first. G for to grab them and then Z to move them up alright maybe G Z move them up a little bit more and I'm going to move this plane and bring us over here go to items and then I'm going to take it up to Z axis about six okay now I do have a lot of hotkeys set up for different things so some things may not be the same so you might have to check into it but I believe this part is which is control A yep Okay, so I hit this plane here, and I'm going to hit Control A because if you look, it's got it raised to six, right? But I want this to think that it's 
I'm going to clear it so this is its new, now normal standard position. So I just hit Control A, and you can do scale. You basically want to apply the scale to the royal base, or you want to apply the um, location. I'm going to do all transformations. So anything, anything that was changed on here would change, right? Let's click that. All transformations is zeroed it out. <clears throat> so if I even turned it or anything like that, it would zero it out too. That basically puts me six um, up from the standard height. Um, basically, so when I start with the tile set and I'm working with it in the uh, tool set, uh, as it generates the property, I'm going to actually be six in the air already. So shadows with Neverwinter Nights, not that I'm a big Shadows fan for Neverwinter Nights because I think they're horrible, but anyhow, they don't work below zero or don't work right below zero. So by raising the six, if I decide to sink, do, do that to create a tile that's lower than six, um, I can do so. You know, and if I wanted to make something that's six uh, low, then I could, and it would wouldn't affect the shadow because I wouldn't be below zero. So that's the whole philosophy behind it. Um, anyhow, that's creating a tile, and that'll get us started. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and I'll pick up the next video uh, here in just a minute. So see you in the next one.